You don't typically cheer for a high school social studies class, but CHR 2300 Filipino History Culture is making history of its own. Starting next fall, Waipahu and Farrington High Schools will be the first in the nation to offer a student-created Filipino studies class in a public school curriculum. Five high school students came up with the idea two years ago and started the Filipino curriculum project. One of them, Raymart Billiote, now studies at UH and will teach the course at Waipahu. Filipino kids who were born here weren't really learning about themselves in the classroom, so I saw that problem and I just told myself that, hey, you know what, Like, I, I want to teach this to really show um, the next generation of Filipino kids, um, students, that you know, their history is worth talking about. Filipinos make up a quarter of the student population in Hawaii's public schools, the largest ethnic group. But even in schools where Filipinos are the majority, many youth feel disconnected from their culture. And while I was growing up here, I have always noticed that children, including me, weren't always so proud of their Filipino heritage. I felt like I was embarrassed to be Filipino. I was embarrassed because of my skin. It was different. I was embarrassed about my Filipino accent, how it wasn't so strong as other kids and their smooth English accent. That shame, now pride, thanks to a course that validates the experiences of Filipinos in Hawaii and the diaspora. It'll focus on six units, identity, Philippine history, culture and connections, Filipinos in Hawaii and the U.S., Philippines in an interconnected world, and community engagement and civic action. For some, the project strengthens intergenerational relationships, bringing together teenagers, teachers, policymakers, parents, and grandparents. I was the bridge between my family and my culture. I was able to come back to family dinners and tell them about all the amazing things I was able to research about and share, things that they probably don't know about their own cultures. The educator design team, especially, who helped us design and really translate the idea of the students um, to the DOE language, um, so-called, um, because, you know, we are not certified um, ourselves to really design the course, but they use what we had um, as a f big foundation for the course. It's like your dream as an educator to see your former students like create change in this way and stand up and use their voice to see themselves in the curriculum and how that's going to ripple out for years to come is really incredible. The project's hope to make learning Filipino American history part of every classroom so we won't need a designated month to do so. And that would be one for the history books. Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.